As a business owner, it's really tempting to let your employees use their own laptops or smartphones for work-related purposes. But is this a great cost-saving strategy or is it a massive risk to your IT security? Well, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of BYOD. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I own an IT company called Integral IT. We provide modern and secure technology to help your business thrive. When I introduced this video, I used the term BYO. Now you might be sat there thinking, what does BYO mean? Well, if you're from the UK, you might be familiar with the term already. Some local restaurants don't have a license to sell alcohol, so they're known as BYO. It stands for bring your own. So bring your own bottle of wine, for example. BYO means the same thing in technology terms. So BYOD means bring your own device. You might take on a new member of staff and they might say, I've got my own laptop and I'd like to use that when working for you. So they use their own device. You get to save money on buying them a new laptop. Everybody's happy, right? So a real world example, we've got a customer and they've just taken on a new member of staff. That new member of staff lives at the opposite side of the country. And so it's gonna be permanently home based. Now they've got the ideal home office setup. They've got a new PC, they've got dual monitors. They've got all the equipment they need. So they've said to the new employer, I don't want you to send me a laptop. I've got the equipment I need set up exactly how I want it. I would prefer to work that way. Seems fair enough. This isn't the first request of this kind that we've had in the last 12 to 18 months. Lots of the workforce is now remote, and so there's a temptation to let them use their own devices. And what about subcontractors? Take for example, you've got a bookkeeper. They might have their own laptop that belongs to them, but they've got lots of different customers. So what do you do? Do you just give them an email address and give them access to your files, knowing that they will probably sit on that laptop that doesn't belong to your business? Now, when it comes to BYOD, bring your own device, there's lots of advantages and there's lots of disadvantages. But as always, I just wanted to give you the information so you can make the best decision on what's best for your business. So without further ado, let's have a look at the pros and cons of bringing your own device. So the first obvious advantage is the cost saving. If you take on a new employee and you give them a laptop, a docking station, two monitors, a keyboard, a mouse, it's gonna cost well in excess of a thousand pounds. If you times that by all the new employees you're gonna have, that's quite a bit of money that you're gonna save. This is the main driving force why lots of businesses let the staff use their own devices. And when it comes to smartphones, lots of businesses want their employees to use their own personal phone for two-factor authentication because who wants to buy their employees a smartphone? The second advantage is you're allowing people to use the kind of devices that they prefer, thus hopefully making them happier. Perhaps they like using a Windows device or some only like using Apple Macs. Perhaps some people like a laptop with a, a bigger screen or someone likes a laptop which is a bit more small and lightweight. You're allowing people to choose their own technology rather than just giving them the standard laptop that your business uses. The third advantage is that your business will be using more up-to-date technology. It's true that people tend to upgrade their own personal devices faster than businesses replace their technology. People always want the newest iPhone or the newest Windows computer. That tends to happen quicker and businesses tend to hang on to laptops a little bit more, try to get every little bit out of the spend. So this will be a definite advantage for your business. So far, it all looks pretty rosy, doesn't it? So why don't we just let all employees bring their own devices to your company? Well, there are lots of disadvantages too. So let's talk about those right now. Now, the first massive disadvantage is obviously IT security. I have seen so many businesses allow people to use their own personal devices without batting an eyelid. How do you know that that device has antivirus on? How do you know that it's, it's patched and up to date with the latest updates? 
How do you know if it's a laptop that it's got BitLocker enabled so the data is encrypted? If your company data is going to be sitting on that device, then you need to know how secure it is. You can't just leave it to chance. Now the second disadvantage is what happens when someone leaves your organization. So they're sat at home with their own personal laptop and they're working for your business. On that laptop, they've got all your company data. They've got your CRM system. They've got access to all of your customers. And then suddenly, one day, they stop working for your business. Maybe they join a competitor, but they've still got all of your data. Now that is a massive issue for your business. If you compare that to if you just supply them with the laptop, then they just hand that laptop back. So employees leaving is another huge headache if you allow your employees to bring their own devices. Now the third disadvantage is you might end up with really complex IT systems. Perhaps you've got lots of people using their own Windows devices. Then lots of other people use Apple Macs. Some people might use Linux. What you end up with is a bit of a headache. Perhaps some of your software, you can't get working on an Apple Mac, but you've got to support these people because you've got to provide the IT systems. This might become a bit of a, an IT headache for your IT company or your IT department. It might even cost you more money and able to support these people with different IT systems. And then finally, the fourth disadvantage is a potential loss of productivity. Some people on their own personal devices, they might have all the social media things, they might have WhatsApp installed and it's constantly popping up all day with notifications. You want them to be doing work on your business, doing their jobs and suddenly they're getting, they're getting pinged here for Facebook, they're getting pinged here for WhatsApp. Is that going to disrupt the workflow? Are you not going to get any work out of these people if they're using their own personal devices? It's certainly worth thinking about. So we've talked about the advantages and the disadvantages. Is there a solution? Is there a solution that allows you to let employees work on their own personal devices while making it secure for your business? Well, if you use Microsoft 365, the answer is yes. Microsoft publishers are good better and best scenario how you can achieve this using their platform. It might be a good solution that people can only use the web version of Microsoft 365. So they log in over a web browser, they can use Outlook, they can use Teams, they can access the data in SharePoint and OneDrive, but only over a web browser. Or towards the best solution, Microsoft recommend a full cloud desktop using something like Windows Virtual Desktop, where people effectively use their own devices, but they log in to a full cloud desktop. So none of your data ever sits on their personal device. So I hope you found this video useful. I know lots of businesses want to allow their employees to be flexible in today's working age. I look forward to speaking to you again soon.